Yesterday, the Lafayette Parish Council voted against the mayor president's proposal to staff a local parish office of Homeland Security and Emergency Preparedness. Two council members explained why they voted no. Today, LCG's new chief of staff tells News 10's Renee Allen they haven't given up yet. The two parish council members, Stansberry and Gilbo, are the ones who voted against it. They debated more about the budget and that the numbers are just too hard to follow. Tuesday, the parish council voted against an ordinance to create two positions, a director and an emergency preparedness officer. Some one-time expenditures you'll see in that budget line item. Councilman Stansberry mentioned he's finding it difficult to follow the numbers. Okay. I guess it's saying three months, it's saying five months. I mean, I'm a little confused. It's hard to make good decisions without having good data. Councilman Gilbo stressed the importance of the parish having well-organized operations for protecting lives and properties. I'm concerned that we're rushing in our planning and the implementation. And I, I made that clear two weeks ago, my position on that. And again, I'm, I'm, I'm very supportive of the uh, EOC. I have no problems with it. Mayor President Boulay reminded the council that other parishes are operating at a higher level. 12, Orleans 24, St. Tammany 5, Lafayette, we're asking for two. LCG's chief of staff, Christina Dairy, spoke with the parish council and LCG is going to resubmit the ordinance. With a funding amendment that will fund the months of September and October, so it'll be a reduced amount. Dairy says the vote was disappointing, but they haven't given up. I do want a Louis, uh, Lafayette's emergency management to be a leader in this state. So Renee Allen, KLFY, News 10.